Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the highly requested what's in my school bag. I love watching these videos and I love making them. So of course I had to do it this year. I'm going into my second year of university, sophomore year, college, whatever you want to call it. This year I wanted to do a little bit of a more mature approach to my school supplies. So I decided to treat myself and buy the bag that I've been wanting to get for years and that is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I posted a TikTok about this bag like a few weeks ago and the video has over a million views. I literally don't know how that blew up or why it blew up but I got a lot of questions about it so I thought I would do a YouTube video more in depth on like the bag and what I keep inside of it. If you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming videos and let's get into the what's in my school bag. Okay so this is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I bought this from Nordstrom Canada. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'll put the price on the screen. This is size small in beige. There are, I think, three sizes. One that's a little bit smaller than this, and then one that's a little bit bigger than this. So this is like technically like the medium size, but it's called the small, so don't get that confused. I think that this bag is the perfect size for all my school supplies for the year. It also comes with a strap. I don't love the color of the strap. I feel like it doesn't go that well with the bag, but it's definitely very practical to put over my shoulder. It's also adjustable, of course. It also has two handles, so if you don't want to put it over your shoulders, you can just fold it. The loops aren't really big enough to fit like over your shoulder. I guess you can go like that, but like to fit it like on your shoulder, it doesn't really work for me, but I still think that it is a great size. This fits a standard size laptop and it's very spacious and the quality is very, very good. So yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. I got it in the color that I wanted. So let me show you what's inside. I think I talked about this in my last video, which if you haven't seen, it's a preparing for school video, but I talked about school supplies and how going into college, I thought I needed all these supplies, but when I actually got to all my classes, I really only needed my laptop. Obviously that varies from school to school and program to program and classes and everything like that. That's just my personal experience. So I didn't go too crazy this year with school supplies, but I did get a few things, which I showed in my last video. So let me show you what's in my school bag. First up, we've got my laptop. I can't go anywhere without my laptop. During the school year, I'm always writing essays, doing homework, and all throughout the year, I'm always editing, so I can't go anywhere without this. This case is from, I think, Walmart. It was like $3, so it's not like the most fancy thing. I have the 2020 MacBook Air, and I'm thinking of upgrading soon to a MacBook Pro just because my school and my job content creating is all on my laptop and I feel like I need something a little bit like I need to upgrade basically so I might be getting a new laptop I'm not sure yet but for now I have my laptop and it's serving its purpose inside the bag it actually has a little side pocket and in this pocket I like to keep my phone it's like the perfect little compartment for a phone and of course I have my airpods in one of the smaller pockets I have the regular airpods I was so close to buying the airpods pro if you have the airpods pro max please comment whether or not you think it's worth it because i was shopping online and i had the airpod pro maxes in silver literally in my cart i was about to press checkout but something in my brain just said like don't do it. So I haven't purchased it yet. But then I started thinking about the Beats Studios. I know that those are also really good and they're like a third of the price of the AirPod Maxes. So I really don't know what to do, but I do like having like over the head headphones rather than like AirPods. I feel like if I have my AirPods in for too long, it kind of hurts my ears. So I'm really looking to invest in a good pair of headphones. Another thing that I always take with me are my keys, obviously. I got a lot of questions about this keychain. I will link it down below on my Amazon store. Friend. I just got this from Amazon. It is an off-white dupe keychain. It's very good quality and it was like $12 on Amazon, which is pretty good, but it's just pink and like translucent. And not only is it cute, it's actually very functional because it has this little carabiner clip, which I really like. It makes it really easy to attach and detach keys onto it. And of course, I just have like all my keys to my house and my room and my PO box, which by the way, I have a PO box now. I never really mentioned that, but if you want to send me something, like if you're a small business or you want to write me a letter, send it 
to my PO box. It'll be on the screen and it's always in the description. And yeah, we can be pen pals. But yeah, I get a lot of compliments on my keychain and I think it's really cute. Of course, I have my little pencil case. I got this from Muji in my last video. You guys saw that. I love how minimalistic Muji school supplies are. So this is just the regular little pencil case. Inside, I have some pens, pencils, and mild liners. These mild liners are kind of expensive, not gonna lie. I got them last year from Target and they were more expensive than I anticipated. It's honestly worth it because they're so cute and so pretty. The colors are just amazing. It'll just make you want to write notes just for the colors. So yeah, I got the mild liners from Target last year and these pencils are just like thick mechanical pencils and I also got these from Target. And then these two black pens are from Muji. And that is my little pencil pouch. I have my wallet. This is not actually a wallet. It's a little jewelry pouch from Ana Luisa. <laughs> I used to have a big wallet that was like literally this big, but it just became such a hassle, especially when I've wanted to put it in a smaller bag. It was just really big and clunky. So now I use this little jewelry thing and I keep my important cards in it and like some cash and a little bit of change and my license and all that kind of stuff. But um, I really like this because it's super small and very compact. And then I have my little journal slash planner. I get so many questions about this and this is from Target. It's so cute. It just says, find your true direction on it, which is so adorable and it has like these little rose gold constellations and I love the purple color. I think it's really pretty. I just use this to write down any important notes. Also just keep it as a journal, like a reflection journal. I think it's really nice to have. I could not find this on the Target website. I feel like a lot of things that are in Target, they don't have on their website, which I don't really understand, but they have so many cute options at Target for notebooks and planners. I also know that they have really cute options at Indigo and even Amazon. The last thing in my bag is this pouch. A few videos ago I talked about having an emergency kit in my bag and this is my little emergency kit. This pouch is from Lancome. I got this at a Lancome event in Toronto so this was actually free but it's a very very nice pouch like a gold color and it's quite spacious actually. I can fit lots of stuff in it. I have some things that I might need during my day and I honestly really recommend anyone who is going to school to keep something like this either in your backpack or in your locker. First up, I have some earbuds because I always forget to charge my AirPods and I like listening to music. If I'm just sitting in a study space or commuting, I just really like listening to music. Having these as a backup is really good because I'm always forgetting to charge my AirPods. I have a pair of blue light glasses. These are really great to avoid headaches when you're studying. A lot of my stuff is from Target because honestly Target's like dollar section is just so cute and I am obsessed. I have a phone charger for obvious reasons. I've got some pads and tampons. I've got a pack of gum because I love gum. I also have so many hair ties and hair accessories. I have 10 hair ties just in this pouch and a claw clip. I love to use this to keep my hair out of my face and a random bobby pin. I don't even know why I have this. I don't use bobby pins. And the biggest essential of them all for me is my lip balm. And yeah, that is what is in my emergency pouch. I had a little terry cloth pouch, but the pouch was kind of like bulky. I don't know if that's the right word to use to describe it, but this is a lot more compact, so it's easier to fit in my bag, which I really appreciate. And yeah, that is what is in my school bag for the 2022-2023 school year. And that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram and my TikTok and Pinterest. All my socials are down below, so don't forget to check those out. As sad as I am that summer is coming to an end, I'm excited for the school year because I have lots and lots of videos for you guys. So if you have any requests, make sure to comment them down below. I hope you had a great start to your school year if you've already gone back, and if you're going back in the next week or two like I am, I wish you luck. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!